Anderson, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the P.I. from your books has the same name as me. Great. Moving on. It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Just get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just... I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, it's getting dark. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. I have a light. And a gun. You can relax, Wake. And Pages. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped, that's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Hey. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... 
It's it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Good to see you, Alan. Uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written that's right alex casey is in this book as well uh, i guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show the joke's on me but isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction no but seriously i found the uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating it reminded me of the matrix I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? 
Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> all this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <laughs> Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? I think I've been locked in! Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Something in the studio with me. I had to get out. drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape.
I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. we have Alan Wake here. Best-selling writer, the books, the films are based on. Let's do this! Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh, he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because. On more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel, the only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Murder Case Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? So much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. 
Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> no, totta helvetissä. Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but a cut up a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egane. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming, the bulb glowed. It held the light now. I felt another surge from the lamp. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. 
This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times. Written countless stories. Forgotten how many. I keep failing. But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean. And a lake, that's not a lake. phone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? <laughs> The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim?
just gonna keep you killing me here, loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really want to know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. the light to open the subway entrance now. Hello? Oh. Hey, Alan. You snuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Orlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. You're making a map? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket.
the door was locked. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. Something was here. A vision about to reveal itself. I needed to look at it from the right angle. FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing, presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. Things clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making progress. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. The Fed had glimpsed into the Maw of Darkness. It swallowed him whole. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. I had a new scene to use, a new setting. I changed the story, and with that, the dark place changed. They had love to be on this case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. The federal agent had come here looking for answers. All he found was a fate worse than death. What do you know? Where it is, your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. 
The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow, under a false identity. Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. I should look at the plot board to figure out a way forward. The new scene I had found was important for the story. The story thread felt right here. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnel searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I'd found. I had a new idea, a new story thread. subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now.
Echoing Hall had a story to tell. I had a new idea for a scene. Chains into the murder cult's hideout. The, the, ritual you are. the Fed had witnessed something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. signs marked secret routes. I kept hearing whispers around burn barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York. a new beat for the story.
dark presence. It was gone. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. The plot changes shape the world around me. I had seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there, hunting me. Somehow the victim's heart was the key. Something had shifted. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. An FBI agent? Who are you? What is that? Who are you? She can hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. Help me, help me. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Not Cauldron Lake. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please. Help me! I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. Who was writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. Stepping to the murder, stepping to the murder site, I'd felt it hanging in the air. A meaning, the violent emotion of the act, like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something that soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. A regression to something you had managed to forget, marking you, taking you for a ride.
making you crazier. The station had changed. I was closer now. I'm a writer. I write. Writing is the key. Art is the key to find my way out of the dark place. I can't forget this. Don't you fucking forget this. I'm in the dark place. I'm outside time and space. Outside reality. But this is real. A nightmare dimension. An ocean of darkness. It... Remember, it's dark energy can make art come true. Make dreams and nightmares come true. Yes, I can use this! I need to use this! Hungry, monstrous things. Up there. They want to stop me. They devour me. Become me. Oh no. Parliament Tower, our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Alice's photo equipment, set to go off when the door opens. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Alice. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Part one. What was Alice working on?
When I was younger, photography was everything to me. I moved to New York thinking I'd make it as an artist. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then, Alan hit a block. I brought out a meaner side of him. One I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. Penny was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. It's easy for people to think it was my fault. Hell, I do, too, sometimes. years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice, Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? room and wrote a story, initiation, to project myself through the dark place, to look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere, looped me back. I was writing this story, and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing it. 